Welcome to Spiral Light Candle. We're building a factory one piece at a time. I've been inventing and starting businesses since I was a kid. I moved from Louisiana to North Dakota, and our biggest venture to date is the spiral burning candle. We've laid it all on the line, and it's too late to turn back now. These are our highlights of the monthly specials and the people behind a small town manufacturer. We opened a candle factory, for better or for worse. Over the last five years at Spiral Light Candle, we've invented and built the majority of our manufacturing equipment. We've built autofill stations, we've built accumulation tables, and we've even built our own conveyor. But right now, we have a taper dipping unit that desperately needs to be automated. We're paying somebody to stand there for 40 minutes and dip candles in wax over and over again. So if we can automate this process, we can save about $13,000 a year and pass that savings on to you in the way of quality products, consistent products, and at a product that's at a great price. A special candle requires special equipment. When we started Spiralite, we found overbooked machine shops and overpriced equipment. So it was back to the drawing board. We had to do it ourselves. And my background in theology and video production was no help. Thanks to YouTube, I learned how to build our own machines. This build is going to require many different elements. First, we need to build a frame. Then we need to work on all the moving parts. Program it, finish the wiring, test it, and install it. So we built the main frame of the unit. And currently, that's being used as a counterweight system. And it's very effective, but it's taking a lot of time. So this is the main moving part of it. This is the part that will go up and down. But there's two problems. Number one, this motor is really undersized and we need to change it out with a much larger one. Make sure we have the power to pick up the weight on the other end of it. And the second problem is that it's hitting here at the bottom. So we need to take these screws off and adjust it forward. Make sure it doesn't hit. Alrighty, so we've put in uh, one washer under each of the four bolts and it looks like it lifted it up just enough to make sure that we have good clearance when it comes back so it's not going to hit right here anymore. Alright, on to the next part. For me, the electrical is the most challenging part of the build. Get it right and it works great. Get it wrong and it's up in smoke, costing hundreds of dollars and countless hours of work. I test and retest, make many changes along the way, and call for help when I'm stumped. After weeks of work and many hours on the foam, the motor finally comes to life, so we can finally install it and move on with the build. So, why did we go through this process in the first place? All the work of welding and electrical and mechanical, so that we could bring you twisted taper candle. It's two taper candles wrapped around each other, each with its own unique wick, fits in a standard candle holder. Find it at spiralightcandle.com.